How's everybody doing today? This is Johnny Bergen with another Chicago Blues guitar lesson. This time we're coming back to John Lee Hooker for some unfinished business. Um, my last lesson on John Lee Hooker was the most popular one I've ever done. And that lesson was about one of the biggest selling blues songs of all time, which is I'm in the mood for love. Now, Crawling King Snake is probably uh, right up there in the top five. Um, it's originally by Tony Hollins, who was from uh, Tibbehaw County in Starkville, Missis near uh, Starkville, Mississippi. And that's where I spent a lot of my childhood, and my father's from there. And uh, you know who else is from? Uh, Tibbehaw County is Big Joe Williams, who's the first person to actually record this song. And then um, later on, John Lee Hooker had the hit with it. He actually attributes this to uh, Tony Hollis. So, uh, Tony Hollins, excuse me. And this song is a, it's neat to learn the original of this song because it's gone on in so many forms. I mean, The Doors did it, Muddy Waters recorded it with band. Um, there's a great version of Howlin' Wolf with the band. I think that's the standard for the band, um, a band setting for this song. And also, uh, Elvin Bishop has a great version. It's neat to go to back to the original and look at this. So this is an open G, and that's kind of a, another point of this lesson is to look at John Lee Hooker's sort of typical things he'd do in open G. So what is open G? You just change three strings. The high E goes down a whole step to D, and then the A string goes down a whole step to G, and then the low E string goes down a whole step to D. And so all told, you have this. Notice I have a capo on the second fret. That's because that matches the pitch that uh, the record is in, the 1948 John Lee Hooker record. So as far as things to do, getting around in G. Like here's a G chord, right? This is the G chord too. But this one has the high G on the top, fifth fret. Here's the G7th. First finger on the third fret of the D, of the B and E strings. Or here's another G7th. And you hear this all the time. It's, it's really easy to uh, get around. So the trick is you've got a thump going, which is that same as that tapping. Can you hear my foot tapping? You've got this thump going. And over that you have rhythms like this. So you're putting a triplet over, over the one. Do, do, do. And he slides into it to make it more feelingful. The only time, this is just about the only time you go to the first fret up from the capo, okay? I'm talking about up from the capo, the capo zero. This is one of his big uh, licks. He does this all the time. If you take your third finger, put it on the third fret up from the capo on the G string, and first finger's here. And sometimes you'll even hear a bend. You have a bend here. This is one of the few bends in the song. A lot of tugs, but very few bends. This is a bend. So. And then see if you can do this. I'm going to go real slow. Try to look at my right hand. Now, John Lee Hooker's right hand is the source of his magic, at least like a lot of it. And he was double jointed, and his right hand is real tricky to get way down in there. Nobody can claim to teach that, but that's that's where a lot of the magic is. But you got to really listen to that groove. But it's all a groove over this static beat, like that. And he does speed up a tiny bit in the song, which is fine. <laughs> So I just move my hand up a little bit. That's open three, five. I like 
this sound too. That's a good lump too. It's kind of a lump in open G. So there's really no four exactly that he plays like but if if there is one he kind of plays this for a four this is the what he does for a four it's a c chord that same old c shape that you know but it sounds completely different with the a string down a whole step right sometimes he'll do that like not in this song but like in stuff like hooker and heat you know one of my favorite john lee hooker records hooker and heat And he doesn't really go to a five chord per se. You can feel the five kind of, but he just played the same thing over it. So I'm a crawling kick snake, babe, I rule my dinner. And then for the four, you know, you might hear this. There's your C shape chord. this part it's like a real moaning it's that's the only other bend in this performance is on the fifth fret of the low a string here you're rolling okay I mean it's hard to do it exact but you know he just has this nice touch it's not too heavy with his with his right hand but it's strong and you can hear your try to get somewhere you can hear your foot tapping and that's kind of the you know getting the ball rolling for playing an open G and learning the original crawling king snake hope you enjoyed this and if you have some memories of John Lee Hooker, please do uh, put them in the comments. Uh, I only got to see them a few times. Leave some comments and uh, do subscribe to my YouTube channel for weekly looks at the blues greats. Have a great one. Bye-bye.